Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the HWM YouTube channel. Now today we have a fantastic treat in our studio, the Aston Martin Valkyrie. Now I should start off by saying a huge thank you to the owners of this car who have allowed us to share it with you today. And so to the brakes. You can imagine a car of this magnitude requires a set of brakes to be able to rein in its remarkable performance. And so Aston Martin approached brake manufacturer Alcon, who are renowned for providing brakes in the, in the racing scene. But it's a different challenge creating a road car because these are brakes that do not get stripped and rebuilt after every race. They have to put up with rain, low speed use, salt on the roads, etc, etc. So it wasn't something that Alcon simply had on the shelf. They had to create 210 new parts just for the brakes. And they are remarkably strong. So Valkyrie is capable of pulling up to 3G under maximum braking force. And to give you an idea, by comparison, the average road car is capable of pulling 0.9G, something along those lines. So incredibly powerful. They're six pot calipers the wheels can barely fit over the brakes and it's even running six pot calipers at the back which must be pretty much a road car first and they're mounted low a la motorsport to keep central gravity low uh, on the rear so an enormously powerful set of brakes from a driver point of view it actually has no servo assistance again it's unnecessary weight so to get maximum braking force you actually have to apply 120 PSI of pressure to the brake pedal. And by comparison on a road car, to trigger ABS, you apply maybe about 40 um, PSI of pressure. So considerably more, it actually feels very natural and very much like a racing car driving uh, Valkyrie, but nevertheless, it needs, needs more force on the brake pedal. But that does convert to four tons of clamping power at the front brakes. Um, they are remarkable and they are a key to getting a fantastic lap time. So of course, lots of time is made up under braking. So Valkyrie has appropriate brakes for its performance. 